Hi folks, Exeter Rider, thanks for joining me on another video. Now this week I have another Honda Classic that's been revived for 2023. And here it is. It is the Honda Dax ST125. Classic styling again. We have the uh, retro round headlights there. Uh, yet we still have the LEDs to light them up, which is quite nice. We also have a LED uh, headlight there with a DRL uh, set up there. Daylight running lights, which again is nice. Indicators. Uh, it's a very, very stylish bike. Uh, I think this bike is around £3,750. I love that little badge there, let Honda Motors. And uh, yeah, it's unique as well because of this tank. This is actually the fuel tank in here, uh, which is part of the frame and the fuel tank goes around the frame. Obviously the advantage to this compared to the Honda Monkey is that it is a two-seater. Shares the same engine as it does with the Grom as well and also the Honda Cub. In this video I'm going to try and take you on a journey to let you know what this bike is like to live with overall, uh, whether that's in traffic or going on faster roads or B roads and, uh, and I'll do a walk around as well. If you haven't liked the video, that would be much appreciated early on in the video and also subscribe as well. It'd be a massive help because I will have more coming on this bike. I'm sure it goes about saying that the DAX is fantastic to route around the traffic. Very narrow, very nimble, very small, short wheelbase, nipping in eight places. With just about enough power to get you out of trouble as well and give you a bit in reserve. So again, would I normally do this on a bigger bike? Possibly not. And certainly wouldn't do this. <laughs> so we get up to the stop line there. Never gets heavy, of course. It's a very light bike at 107 kilograms. Visibility wise, I am a small bike, so you do have to be aware of yourself and be aware that there's possibility that others may not have seen you so uh, got to be a bit mindful of that really cut in here and I am going to do that because I'm on a, a small bike yeah I can't think of a more fun or better bike to be on than a mini bike whether that's the monkey this one or a grom they're brilliant fun to whiz through the traffic it's just all so easy so yeah traffic white riding is absolutely brilliant it's a great city bike this bike for sure and don't forget that you can load yourself up with a pillion with this one as well so dax as a city bike in traffic is fantastic Getting away from the lights. There's your 30 mile an hour there, so it's quick enough. Another good thing about the Dax is that you can explore places you wouldn't go anywhere else in a car. Or even on a bigger bike in many ways. Purely because it's just, again, it's just easy to, uh, well, it's just easy to live with, like, you know, you can. <laughs> zip around the streets or zip around the traffic it's a lot of fun to go exploring in places that you wouldn't normally explore fuel economy is amazing as you'd expect uh, I mean I don't know what I'm getting but all I can tell you is that uh, it's the sort of bike you'll fill up and you could just forget about it only costs like I don't know not under a tenner to fill up Oh, what I'm going to do here guys, I'm going to give you a quick 0-60 on it or as fast as we can get let that car get in front okay, I'm flat out now 30 40 third gear 50 51 can start it feeling resisting a little bit more now. 53, this is indicated of course. 
This bike isn't about speed, I, don't, I hope I don't need to say that, it really isn't. But uh, it's all about the fun, but it's still relevant what I'm showing you here. 57, 58. Yeah, so around 58 indicated with me on it. Middle age, overweight bloke. Yeah, so you'll do about, I mean, the wind's against me a bit as well, so. <laughs> So I'd say if you gauge it around between 58 and 60 miles an hour is the Honda DAX 125's top speed, then you'll be about right. But again, it really isn't about that. It's not enjoyable uh, riding it at full whack. It's just, it's more pleasurable just to take it easy on this bike. Now for riding along little lanes like this, absolute perfection. Perfection. Really, really nice. It's fast enough to get to where you want to go, but slow enough to take in the scenery. It's a really nice, pleasant ride. Right, so the first thing that you'll notice about the ST125 DAX when you first see it is that it's actually bigger in real life than what it looks on camera. Okay, now yes, it is a mini bike. We all know that, but it's a mini bike with stature, shall we say. It does look uh, st still quite chunky and quite big. Possibly the reason for that is because it's m so well made. Uh, obviously it's a Honda, so it's going to be bulletproof. The tank is very unique here. It looks really uh, something special, something different, isn't it? Now for me to sit on the bike, five foot eight, 30 inch inside leg, most of you will know that now. Uh, quite a narrow seat, it's, uh, it's quite comfortable actually, it's not too bad. Feet flat on the floor there, and again, it doesn't really feel like a mini bike, it just feels like a small, smaller bike, which is exactly what it is really. For me, to put my legs up on the pegs here, uh, I find it very comfortable, loads of space, I can move back on the seat or forward on the seat and it's still comfortable and uh, you don't, you're not going to get leg cramp on here if you're about my height. If you're taller than me then you are going to have to try it of course. I would say that anyone up to six foot is okay. Over six foot uh, you need to sort of double check it and you know before you buy. And also the handlebars most importantly is quite high up so it does tend to give you that natural head up position when riding this bike. Uh, switch gear is very, very basic. On the right bar, we've only got a start button. And on the left bar, obviously the indicator's horn and the high beam, low beam on here. Most importantly, you need to get used to the gearbox on the DAX. That is the, the clincher for most people in my eyes because it's, it takes a lot of getting used to. It took me a couple hundred miles to get used to uh, changing up and down on this bike. I've done about 300 miles on this bike now. And uh, basically you have to push down on the heel and tail shifter to go up the gears and then push on your heel on the back to go down. So it's all kind of backwards. I think it's brilliant that Honda have done that because I think if they didn't, then everybody would be saying, well, we want the original shifter pattern that the DAX has. For me personally, I would like to see a manual version of the DAX. I actually think that uh, I think it could possibly sell better as, as a manual option as well. And maybe make the semi-automatic gearbox still, but make it as a added option. It's a minor point, but I, it's a point that's worth making. Now, like with the Monkey, uh, the styling is really nice to look at. We have these nice lights at the back. It's fully LED all the way around. The added bonus to the DAX compared to the Monkey, of course, is that you can actually carry a pillion. So, obviously I can't ride pillion and tell you what it's like, but I do know somebody who can, so. Well then guys, this is my son, and he's gonna let us know what it's like riding pillion on the Honda DAX. Well then Jed, so, you're on the back riding pillion. We've done about, I don't know, seven, eight miles, haven't we? Yeah. What's your thoughts on the seat then? Well, personally, I think that the seat's quite comfortable. Yeah. Uh, because I'd say there's about a solid two or three inches of foam there, which is, you know, it'll keep you comfortable. 
but I don't think um, you should go on any long rides with this. No. It's not really built for that though, I guess, is it? Nah. But it's alright for, yeah, do, doing the odd sort of 30 miles, 40 miles before you need a break, is that fair? Yeah. Right? Cool. And how do you find the uh, seat? Is it quite slidey? Uh, well, when you're going down hills, it can be quite slidey. But other than that, I wouldn't say so. No. Oh, that's good. And, um, so you'd be quite happy going to the beach on this then, or? Uh, know, yeah, I'd say doors, so. Which is about 12 miles away from us. Yeah. Yeah? Brilliant. Okay, thanks very much for your help, Jeff. No worries. So the brake lever is very easy to reach, it's non-adjustable. Everything's very basic and very simple to use. So if you're a rider that's slightly intimidated by bigger bikes, then this is going to be a very good option for you because it's just so easy and light to ride. Uh, I think it's brilliant that Honda are bringing back these old uh, retro bikes. Uh, I think it's a really cornered part of the market and, it, and it's certainly something which Honda have nailed uh, is the mini bike market. I think it's brilliant that they've got this tank still. They've kept that uh, in true DAX style. This is the actual tank in here and you fill it up underneath the seat. Uh, the amount of chrome on it is just right. It's not really shines. It shows that the bike is uh, you know, one off something special yet it's not too much where you're out cleaning it and worried about you feel like you're not going to come home and have to clean it all the time you know i was surprised actually with this suspension because they've got that just right because it works very well as a single rider uh, after riding the monkey i thought it might have been too soft it works really nicely on the back for a single rider or riding with a pillion so the question really is do you go for the dax the monkey or the grom the deciding factor on that is two things. First of all, is what style do you like? What, you know, do you like the style of the Monkey, where it's a little bit more compact, shorter wheelbase? And even more importantly, do you carry a pillion? Because obviously you can't carry a pillion on the Monkey, but you can on the Dax and the Grom. So that's the things which you need to think about. And perhaps color options as well is another thing which might be a deciding factor. Uh, pushing the bike around, we have the grab handle on the rear, which is really nice for the pillion to have. You can just lift it off like so and just move it around. I'm not going to move it around. It's obviously it's a, a light bike. So, But the DAX is definitely an eye catcher. You'll definitely get second looks from people as you ride by. Uh, and, and again, it's just purely because of the styling. It is like nothing else. Another good thing as well is that we do get this extended mud guard here that's really nicely made and uh, it's, it's actually screwed and bolted on so there you go that's the honda dax for you thank you very much to honda for lending me the bike for the last three weeks i've had a really good time on it i've done lots of things i've gone to the uh, small bike owners club for example and uh, taken it to some of the bike shows as well where it's caused a, quite a storm there and you, literally people were crowding around it so thanks very much for that we've had a good time together me and the dax so Give it a like if you would, and also subscribe if you haven't been to Exeter Rider channel before. Uh, it'd be great to have you along again, and I have got more coming up on mini bikes. So thank you very much, and I'll see you next week, Sunday at 4 p.m.